What are your thoughts about uh, the James Webb Space Telescope? Um, is this, as somebody who likes telescopes, and this is one of the, I think it says, um, it took 20 years to build $9.7 billion. Is that way too much, too little? Are you excited about this thing? It's it's sufficiently different from what I do in my field that it's incredibly interesting to me because it's 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 I have no you know horse in that race and so I'm not competing with them for time or money or resources or people or whatever so I can purely be uh, an advocate and an aficionado of science. It is in some sense the successor to Hubble. It will do things that Hubble can't do. Um, it will also may or may not have the impact on a visceral kind of artistic level that Hubble had. What are some of the most iconic things that Hubble did? The Hubble ultra deep field, the pillars of creation, you know, storms and, and and imaging and of these twisted deep galaxy deep sky galaxies. Those resonated with the public. Just Be visually they were beautiful. Visually, yeah, when you look at um these images, the Hubble ultra deep field, you'll maybe put that in uh, you'll show every speck of light except for one, 4000 blobs of light. There's one star in our galaxy, the rest are galaxies. Now, that image is less than one tenth of your fingernail held out at arm's length. It contains 4000 galaxies. So now you can figure out how many galaxies there are in the whole sky just by seeing how long does it take you to move your fingernail over the whole sky. So we have another couple of hours. No, so it comes out to be, that's how we get 500 billion or more galaxies. Now it's not exact to the galaxy, but it's, it's, it's a good order of magnitude estimate, maybe even better. Um, Hubble produced that. And it was basically serendipitous. They pointed to some dark blank piece of sky, what they thought was blank, and they saw it. Same thing that happened with the CMB. They were looking for something they didn't find. Same thing they found when they were looking for the deceleration of the universe and found it was accelerating. Um, so what I um, sometimes hear is that we don't know what we're going to discover. I never think that's a good idea to spend billions of dollars on something. Like You should have some guaranteed low-hanging fruit, <clears throat> and then there should be swinging for the fences. And I think in this case, it was really everything is swinging for the fences because it's either it's kind of a single point failure. If that telescope, which is this origami construction of 22 hexagonal panels that have to unfold properly and then or orient themselves a million miles from Earth beyond the Earth moon distance by a factor of four and, and still transmit telecommun you know, uh, telecommunication back to the Earth, get solar energy, keep it away from the sun. You know, you don't want to look through uh, the telescope of the sun with your remaining good eye. And you do that and you cover, it's going to be phenomenal I, I, um, for science, for sure, if it works. <laughs> there are a lot of people think, you know, it's so risky. It's such, NASA sunk so much of their budget. It ate up, you know, and what if it does fail? I mean, there's no guarantee. Yes, it's insured, but so what? You're not going to get back those 20 years of people. Well, let's start building it again. Like they didn't build two copies of it. Um, and so then if it fails, it kind of has a dampening effect on the prospects and the inspiration of the public for the what science can do, what science engineering can yeah. do is out in space. It will make a huge impact scientifically. Let's hope for the best. Let's assume it does succeed. It's launched in a couple of weeks. And um, and when it does, it will transform our understanding of, you know, we just discovered not only like extrasolar planets that have moons on them and asteroid belt, we discovered an extrasolar planet in another galaxy. Mm. This will be able to see crazy stuff like that, spectroscopy, imaging, um, but but it's and it will be able to go back farther in time, such that we will be doing cosmology. Like Hubble did some cosmology and measured the Hubble constant. That was its key project when it was designed and launched. Um, but because it is an optical telescope, it's sensitive to more you know close in redshifts, so shorter distances. Now James Webb is much much higher redshift. It can probe the darker, deeper, distant universe.